Hello and welcome. In this lecture, we are going to design level third number three, and in next lecture, we will work on animating this level third. So, select level third main folder and click on create a new folder button and change its name to level third three. Now, from menu, select composition, new composition, and for name, type level third three. All the settings are the same as previous lower thirds, so nothing needs to be changed. Hit OK button. Now, let's create our first text. Click on Text Tool and type your text, for example, VFX Artist, Elizabeth Anderson. Now, change text style to create more interesting text. Rename Text Layer to Text 1. OK, now it's time to add our second text. Click on Text Tool and type your text, for example, Compositing and Rendering Artist. Change text size and font style. Increase tracking option to have more spaces between characters. Rename it to Text 2. Drag it under Text 1 layer and adjust text layer position. In Paragraph panel, for Text 1, be sure to adjust text alignment to left align text. And for text 2, set it to right align text. In this lecture, we are going to use solid layers instead of shape objects to create our boxes. So, from menu, choose Layer, New, Solid. Press Make Comp Size button to create a solid layer that fits into this composition and adjust color for this solid layer. Drag this solid layer under Text Layers, click on Rectangle tool, and then drag a line in Composition window. In fact, we are creating a mask for this solid layer. Rename this solid layer to line 1 and adjust its position. Now we want to create two boxes under this text 2 layer. And again, we will use solid layers for creating these boxes. So from menu, select Layer, New, Solid. Change color for this solid layer. Drag this solid layer under all layers. Click on Rectangle tool and then drag a box under this text layer. In fact, we are creating a mask for this solid layer. Rename this layer to Box 1. We want to have another box under this box, so immediately duplicate this box, select it, and from menu choose Edit, Duplicate. Drag this Box 2 layer under Box 1. To change color of this solid layer, you can select it and from menu choose Layer, Solid Settings, and here you can change the color. Now, select box 2 and hit M key to load masks created for this layer. Click on Selection tool or hit V key and double click on one of these mask handles and change mask size. Now, select box 2, box 1 and text 2 and in Align panel, click on Vertical Center Alignment. So good so far. Now, it's time to connect this lower third to our color control system. So, open Color System Composition, select Color Settings object, and from menu choose Effects, FX Control, or hit F3 on your keyboard, and lock this panel. Now, open Level 3rd Composition. To apply a color to a text layer, we have to add a fill effect. So, from menu select Effects, Generate Fill. Close Fill Panel, select Text 1 and hit E key. Open Fill Effect and hold Alt key and click on Color Stopwatch, then drag Pick Whip over one of these text color presets. OK, follow the same process to connect Text 2 to a text color preset. Select it. From Menu, choose Effects, Generate, Fill. Close Fill Panel. Select Text 2 and hit E key. Open Fill Effects, hold Alt key and click on Color Stopwatch, then drag Pick Whip over one of these text color presets. OK? Similar to text layers, to change color of solid layers, we have to add fill effect to them. So select line 1. From menu, select Effects, Generate, Fill. Close Fill Panel. Select line 1 and hit E key. Open Fill Effects. Hold Alt key and click on Color Stopwatch. And then drag Pick Whip over one of these shape color presets. OK? Follow the same process for Box 1 and Box 2 layers. Select Box 1. From Menu, choose Effects Generate Fill. Close Fill Panel. Select Box 1 and hit E key. Open Fill Effect. Hold Alt key. Click on Color Stopwatch and drag Pick Whip over the Shape Color preset. OK, now select Box 2. 
from menu select effect generate fill close fill panel select box 2 and hit e key open fill effects hold alt key click on color stopwatch and drag pick whip over a shape color preset okay now it's time to add markers so go to second tree and press alt and star key on numpad and type in for comment section then go to second five and press alt and star key on numpad and type out for comment section okay now open sequence composition and activate project tab and then drag lower third into this composition select lower third 2 and hit o key on your keyboard to go to the end of this clip then select lower third 3 and hit open bracket key on your keyboard to move it to this time now adjust lower third position on the screen okay this was designing part of lower third 3 we will work on animating this lower third in next lecture so thanks for watching and see you in next lecture